Are you losing leads because your internet presence sucks? Hey everybody, Ben from Job Nimbus here with the Building Business Channel. I've got Cam from Podium with me. Want to talk a little bit about um, your website and what you're doing when somebody gets to your homepage. Because right now, um, people are searching for you on Google, right? And they're clicking on links. Let's talk a little bit about that yeah. in a second here. And then they're coming to the website and do they know what you want them to do next, the call to action, right? So what's that flow look like? You, you, you've talked to me before about um, the Google My Business. Yes, yes. Let's talk about that. Awesome. How so, important is that? Okay, so again, you gotta get into the mind of your customer and when they're looking for your services, they're gonna go to Google. Yep. Okay, and they're gonna, they're gonna type in some sort of a search. Yep. And uh, again, a lot of business owners haven't, haven't kind of taken this journey. So what happens is they type into Google, your listing is going to pop up. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna have information about your business. And then it's gonna take that customer to your Google My Business page. Okay, and, and on your Google My Business page, again, it's going to have additional information about you, but it's going to have four uh, calls to action. Now, those calls to action will vary slightly depending on if you're on a mobile device or on your desktop, but it's typically going to have a way for them to call you. It's now going to have a way for them to message you, which is something we should yep. talk about. Yep. It's going to lead them to your website or it's going to give them directions to your business. I think we've all seen that, but those are some of the four calls to action. What's the most common thing that people usually do? Yeah, so again, if you think about it, a business owner wants everyone to click on that phone. Yeah, Click right. on that call phone, me, call me, call, call me. me, right? And historically, that was what people would do. But now people, they, they do a little bit more research, and most of the time, they're still gonna click on your website. Now, why do you think they're going to your website? Like, why do they do that over calling you? What are they looking for there? It's funny, right? So, I mean, even just think, like, all, I've had this experience recently. Sure, we've all done it. We've, yeah. we've all done it, right? So, I, uh, there was a rainstorm, and my gutters, my gutters broke or whatever. Yeah. Something wasn't working. So, I, uh, I know that I need gutters, so I typed in gutter replacement near me. Yep. and up popped the Google page. And again, I did the same thing too. It's like, well, what is it gonna tell me? But you click on the website because you wanna learn more about the business. You wanna right. learn more about who they are and, and what their service is like and can they solve your problem. They're going there to learn and do research. So you're looking for like professionalism. Yep. You're probably looking for an emotional connection, like pictures of the team or yeah. of them at work. Yeah. The quality of the materials, maybe some certifications well, would be and, on there. And for better or for worse, people are going to judge you on the quality of your website. 100%. It's, it's, it's your digital storefront. You know the number of customers that I go to their website and it's a GoDaddy landing page with no content? It's crazy high. It's a shocking actually. It, it is. And though, that's where those links are going. People are not calling, they're clicking through that GMB page and going straight to that landing page. And you're getting, and most of the time you're gonna get filtered out because they're gonna say, this is kind of where I'm gonna go check yeah. on the next one. So yeah. again, that, that's very important. You don't estate. even look like your real business if you don't have your yeah, website. Again, up, right? that's the world that we live in these days. Yep. So they're gonna go to your website. They're gonna wanna learn more about you. They're gonna wanna assess kind of your professionalism from your website. And then if you've done a good job in all those arenas, guess what? They're gonna wanna get a hold of you. So what I challenge every, anyone that's listening to this is go to your website and pretend you're the consumer and pretend you want to get a hold of your business and ask yourself, how do I do that yep. once you land on the website? Yep. And usually if they're good, they'll at least have a phone number up, yep. which a lot of people would rather you know, communicate in other ways besides phone, especially if they don't know you yet. Yep. So that's one problem. But most don't even have a phone number visible. You got to go to a contact us page or something like that. Um, what about when you're clicking through to that website, what's some best ways that you, where should you be sending that traffic? What's the right thing? Is it the homepage? Because I think a lot of people make the mistake of like sending you to a landing page, right? Yeah. Why would that be a mistake? Well, so, so again, I think it's what is the design, like what is the purpose of them going to your website, right? And if you as a business owner, you want them to go there and then you want them to reach out to you. You so want, don't send them to a form then? Don't send them to a form because think about it, right? Uh, as business owners, you're all going to most of the time have a contact us form there. So then the first next question you need to ask yourself is where does that form go? And how long between that uh, customer filled out the form, does it actually get to you? And then how long does it take your team to respond to that? Yep. That process alone is going to filter people out. 
they're going to go to a different business if they have to go through that process. So the best practice becomes how can you make it as simple and as fast for someone to land on your website and get a hold of somebody at your business or at least reach out to you and contact you. And it, it's interesting if you just kind of think about it, I'm clicking on that views at website because I want to get credibility and reputation. I want to do my due, due diligence on this site, right? And then you take me right to a form that says, contact us, put in all your personal info, and then we'll get back to you. Total disconnect, yep, right? Exactly. And so again, if you can simplify that and, and, and get a, a way for them to contact you more directly, they're going to take the path of least resistance. That's what we do as human beings. And that path of least resistance is going to give them a better experience and it's going to get you more customers. So I'm going to send them to a landing page that's specific to what I'm talking about with those keywords and everything. And they get really excited and I do a really good job. What are the calls to action that work really well on a page? Well, so our, our personal belief, and this isn't, well, I guess this isn't even just Podium. So what we're seeing, what the trend is, and so I'm going to revert back a little bit to the Google My Business uh, analogy, because what Google's learned, what Facebook has learned, what Apple has learned, and what others have learned is that people prefer messaging. So if I, again, going back to that Google My Business example, Google has now opened up message the business as an option. Now this is something that you have to turn on, this is something that you have to support, mm. but they've turned on that messaging option because if you give a customer the option to message you, to send you a text message, guess what? That's the path they're going to choose. Facebook is doing the same thing with Messenger, and what a lot of people don't realize with all these Apple launches, this has actually been about a year ago now, Apple launched their own version of Apple, what they call Apple Business Chat. Oh yeah, you can use like the Messenger app to talk with the business. I You've did it the other it. day, it's exactly. really cool. Exactly, it's really cool, it's seamless, and it's easy. And so that experience, again, all these consumer companies are creating that experience, but most of the time business owners either aren't aware of it, they're not taking advantage of it, or they're concerned about how do I even execute on that strategy? Do I right. have to it's just- it's pretty technical. It's, it's technical, it and then do you have three or four different pages open at all time, just waiting for messages to kind of funnel in there? So again, but enabling that experience on your website, you're going to get the same kind of results if you're able to, uh, I guess, make it easy for that person to send your business a message, a one-to-one -one message, not a form fill. So oftentimes what business owners will do is they'll put a chat widget on their website. Yeah. That's a much better step than a form fill. Or a phone number just on there. Or yeah. a phone number, mm -hmm. as long as when that customer clicks on the chat bot, it's not just a glorified form fill. Right, which is a lot, lot of times what Which is happens. a lot of times what happens. So a couple of things to think about as you're trying to convert people from your website to become customers of your business. So I have the chat there, I click on it. You want it to actually open up to the little messenger window and actually be ready to talk to a rep at that company. That's the best practice. Now. One of the concerns a business owner will have is say, well, what about after hours? Uh, I can't man something 24-7. Yeah. We're not a big enough organization yeah, for that. Yeah, well, and, and I want to sleep, and I, I have a family and other things that I yeah. want to do. So that's, again, where our personal belief is that if you can enable it to, ha to have text messages, the cool thing about a text message is it doesn't go away. Uh -huh. Let me explain, right? So if you have just a live chat window, if you are not actively responding in that live chat window, that consumer is going to end that session. If they're able to send you a text message, when you wake up in the morning, that text will still be there. You've opened the gateway to that customer's phone. Yeah. So you're able to respond to that whenever it is most convenient for you as a business owner, and there's no delay in response from the customer because it's on their phone, and you are now a contact in their phone. It's an extremely effective and powerful way to convert customers and create an incredible experience for them. The other thing is you. people are used to texting all day. They know it, they feel comfortable with it. They're not used to chatting through a little browser window and forgetting that that window's open and then they got busy and they can't come back to it because it's a really, you have to be, it's almost like doing a phone call with your fingers, right? Yeah. Well, and then to that point, right? Like chat can be effective when that person's sitting at a computer, mm -hmm. but guess what most of the time we're not doing? We're not sitting at our computer, no. we're on our phone. Yeah, and then it's especially struggle exactly. to, to do exactly. it. Exactly, yeah. so again, that's the power of, of being able to do it via a text message and being able to enable your website to, to have kind of that text message capability because then when that consumer's on the go, they're still able to, to message you. Yep, yep. And you're able to message them back. Okay, so let's kind of just recap this for a second. First thing is make sure you, I guess first thing, you gotta make sure you have a GMB page. You gotta have a GMB <laughs> If you page. haven't done that. By the way, how do you do that? We should just talk about that for yeah, a second. Yeah, so you can just, you can go to Google My Business and set up a, a page right there and Perfect. set your hours and it's, you know, Google will take care of you from there. It's, it's pretty simple. Perfect, so you got your GMB page. Second, 
if you're really savvy and want to be stand up from the crowd, hook up that messenger button. Get yes. that working, because that's critical. Yes, and, and again, that's a pretty simple process um, where you can just enter a number and, and, and Google can help you set that up too. And that'll send an SMS when exactly. they click on it. Yep. Super cool. Third thing is when you send somebody, when they click on visit the website, you want to send them to your website, not to a web form, because you want to build credibility. And then when, and the fourth thing is once they're on that page, have lots of options for you to con for them to contact you. Yes, make it easy. So again, I, I would even say make it easy for them to get a hold of you. And a form fill isn't easy. And click to call is great. But again, if you're looking at the data and you're looking at conversion metrics, if you can open up the the messaging gateway, you're going to see far better results and a much better customer experience. I love it. Okay, so comment below on ways that you guys are um, asking customers to contact you right now. Is it just phone number? Uh, is anybody set up Messenger yet? And how's that working for you? Ha uh, do you have a chat widget built into your website? How's that working for you? Love to hear what some success stories are and what some struggles are.